Okay, hello traders, and here we are on how to open up an account on XTB. Uh, so here we are. So you just have to click on the link that we send you on the email to get onto this page. And after you've done that, enter your email address, choose your country, whether you give your consent to receiving commercial information. Let's say tick and that. I've informed that all my personal data is right. And then after that, you can move on to the next step. So once you've done that, then it will ask you to create your account password. So just create any account password just with these requirements of one uppercase letter, one number, and eight characters, whatever that you may want to have. Now, once you have done that, if it's in the right format, it will just say tick, 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 tick. One uppercase letter basically means a capital letter, number, any number you can choose, and it must consist of eight characters, okay? Let's say, for example, if you just say pineapple, um, B, whatever, you can start off with P and then just um, pineapple in lower cases if you want to. And they include a number as well, 89, whatever it may be. So you just um, make that up. And once you've done that, you click on the next step. And then on the next step, then it will carry on to asking you uh, for your first name, middle name if you have one, surname as well number date of birth gender and then here on the country you can choose whatever country that you are from let's say from the united kingdom uh, we are here then it may ask you for additional details like national insurance number if you do not have it just uh, click on this box over here if you're from other countries usually for other countries let's say for example um, south africa as well let's say if you're talking about south africa you can click on that one here, ask you for national passport number, expiration date, or if you're talking about um, China, I think most of them it does ask about uh, your national passport number basically. All right. After that, then you ask you, then they ask you if you declare that you're not a US citizen. If you're not a US citizen, ticket yes. Tax residence in the UK if you're in the UK. And if you don't have tax residence in another country, then do not tick this box. That's pretty much that for this page. Okay, good. So once you have done that, then it will get you to this page where it asks you for your postcode, for your address. And once you're putting your postcode, and then you can find the address and then scroll down to find what matches your address. That's pretty much that for this one. It's pretty straightforward. Then it will ask you what trading platform you want to use. For most of you want to be using MetaTrader 4, you click on this one here. Account type standard, uh, unless you want to get a pro, you can click on here to understand what it means. Uh, it's a floating spread, market execution if you want um, a market spread, and then it can be CFD trading, different different um, instruments. I think for now, you just use standard, it's fine. Currency, what do you want? What language do you prefer? Now, once you have done that, uh, then you can go on to the next step. Once you go on to the next step, then it will start to ask you what is your annual income that you're earning in a year, your liquid net worth, occupation, source of funds. So we can actually go on here. It will tell you all the annual income, what's the bracket you're looking at, liquid net worth as well as a hundred thousand pounds plus fifty to hundred thousand pounds, what so forth, occupation, what are you, are you employed, self-employed, retired, whatever it is, source of funds, uh, where is your funds that you're going to deposit going to come from, is it savings, is it employment, uh, is it pension, what is it, so anticipated, how much are you looking to invest, is it £100,000 plus, 50, 50 to 100000 or is it uh, 5000 25000 What what is it, and in the past three years, how many months have you traded on a non-advised basis, so like how many months have you traded without anybody advising you basically it's asking so is it zero to two months three to five months six to eleven months whatever it may be uh, just write it down over there and then once you've done that you can go on to the next step now once you have done that then it will then ask you to go on to the next page where you'll be 70 percent complete over here nearly there over the past three years when you have traded on a non-advised basis what's the average nominal amount you've traded per month now what does this mean so basically it's saying that um, when you've traded with no advice at all or no training whatever it is what was the lot size that you placed what was the stake size sometimes you know you might have done 10 pounds a point or 20 pounds a point, or you might have done 
one lot usually one lot is about hundred thousand units okay hundred K units so what was the size that you did per trade is what's asking you uh, if you're not really sure just choose the lowest one zero to five hundred thousand uh, if you may if you're not too sure that basically it's saying zero to five lots basically then again it's asking you over the past three years when you've traded on a non-advised basis what's the average number of trades you've placed so what's the average number that you have placed per month foreign exchange what is it i mean if you're not sure uh, you can just put zero to ten on all of them you should just put the minimum amount that you've done or you've not traded at all for for us it would be definitely i mean anything more than 50 plus and then shares is a bit more so whatever it is just choose the amount that's what it's telling you how many have you traded per month then it's asking you which statement below about negative balance protection is true uh, basically negative balance protection means you cannot lose more than the funds in your account that's how they it protects you that's what negative balance protection is about according to my understanding so that will be that for for this page over here so once you've done that, then you'll come on to the next one over here and it's giving you a risk disclaimer saying that FX trading and CFDs they can be volatile, you know, you can or you can magnify your profits or losses, you familiar with your products, risk disclosure notice, declaration. Basically, you're just agreeing to the uh, risk over here. So once you've read through this properly, do you understand? I confirm. I read and understood. Okay, I confirm that I act my own name. Okay. Now, once you've done that, that should complete the entire process. So once you've completed the process and clicked on the next step, and that's it. I mean, if you've done it all correctly, it, it's all done. It's 100% complete now. And then you can download your MT4 link over here. And also you can go to the client office. The client office, basically your broker account already and good to go. Okay. That's pretty much that on that basis. And that would just complete your whole application over here. And after that, you got to check your email. And once you check your email, you should get something like your XDB application activation required kind of subject. And once you've got that, uh, then basically then it would be saying, okay, your login details uh, is your email address that you logged in with. And then basically then the password that you set on your application form. So remember that one. And once you've done that, then click on the login button and you can go in and log in into the account. So that's for the X station. That's the web version of XTB. Okay. Right. Then the next part then is also your client office login details. Pretty much the same. You get another email on that too. Uh, so that would be talking to you about, again, your username, same. Email address, password, same. And then you click on login. So these two emails you will get. One is basically on going to the X station, and the other one is uh, which is the broker platform itself. And the other one is on your client office uh, platform. And that's pretty much it, traders, on the whole account opening process.